Welcome to Feast Magazine's Campfire Cooking, sponsored by Freedom RV, voted Tucson's number one RV dealer five years in a row. Hey everybody, it's Kat, and I'm in the kitchen today to show you how to make yogurt marinated kebabs. This is great for your backyard fire pit, your grill, or obviously a campfire. And it's very forgiving because the yogurt is something that you want to allow to marinate on your meat for a good amount of time, a few hours, even overnight. So if you are going on a camping trip, you can pack it the night before and then bust everything out once you get to your campsite and get cooking. I'm going to cut up some pork and some chicken. I'm using chicken thighs, boneless, skinless, and I'm using the thigh rather than the breast because it's more forgiving uh, and high heat, but if you prefer breast, that's fine. Also, thighs do taste better, they have more flavor. And as far as the pork, I'm just using boneless pork chops. And I'm going to cut the chicken into thin strips, and I'm going to cut the pork into cubes. In my bowl, I have some full fat Greek yogurt, and I want the fat because fat is flavor, but if you really would prefer to use a fat-free yogurt, just make sure that it's plain, not something sweet, and that it is the Greek style, so it's nice and thick. I am just crushing up a couple of garlic cloves. This is the marinade for my pork that I'm making right now. All right, I'm just gonna mince these guys. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and mince up my onion. I have the juice of half of a lemon. That acidity is going to really help tenderize the pork. And then the rest of it is just adding in some spices. I have coriander and cumin, a little bit of mustard seed, this is ground. Of course, I have black pepper and then some cayenne for some heat. You can leave this out if you're sensitive to spice. So you can see everything is all beautifully blended together. All I'm going to do is add this to my bowl with the pork and toss it together. That's it. If you're camping, you could put all of this into a Ziploc and then just toss it in your cooler. I want this to sit for, you know, at least a couple of hours. You want the yogurt to work its magic. So now I'm just gonna make the marinade for the chicken, which is even easier. It's just yogurt, curry powder, onion, garlic, and salt. Okay, gorgeous stuff. All right, I'm just gonna add that to my chicken. Go. I'm gonna mix this up, set these aside in the refrigerator, and I'm gonna go out to the fire pit. I'm gonna build my fire. So it's been a few hours. I built this fire a while ago and I let it go down into just being these kind of like smoldering coals because I'm looking for heat, but I don't necessarily want a lot of flames to singe the meat because otherwise it'll cook too quickly. Um, I also went ahead and just in the kitchen threaded the meat onto um, wooden skewers that have been soaked in water so they don't burn as easily. They'll probably still burn, but it, they won't just go up in flames on the, on the grill. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these guys on the fire. And I'm gonna serve these in pita with some tahini sauce and red onion and spinach and you know you could do some kebabs of veggies you could throw a foil packet of potatoes you know onto the coals as well there are a lot of different ways that you can serve these up but i love the flavor of tahini with this yogurt marinade so that's the direction that i'm going to go in so all of my chicken looks like it's pretty well finished the pork is gonna take a little bit longer because it is more dense, but we are just about there. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss my pita bread on the fire to warm it up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and build my pita pockets. I have some fresh spinach. Stuff that in there. A little bit 
of slivered red onion. And then just a little bit of tahini sauce, which I absolutely adore. And if you're looking for the recipe for that, you'll find it along with all of the other recipes right here on this site. Thank you for joining me around the campfire for this wonderful handheld treat, and I'll see you next time. Just hours away, and you're home away from home with Freedom RV, where family, friends, and Arizona come first. Go where the road takes you with Freedom RV.